This is Dave with Logical IT Solutions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure VMware's ESXi 5.5 hypervisor software. Before we begin, you want to perform a few steps. Go to VMware.com and verify your server's hardware is on their compatibility list. Especially check the network cards. If the network cards aren't supported, you will need to purchase a third-party network card that is compatible before installing your system. Download the free ESXi 5.5 Media ISO. Obtain your license key and burn the ISO to a CD or DVD. Be sure to have your server's RAID, hard drive, and partition configurations set up properly. Enter the server BIOS looking for a setting called Virtualization Technology. Make sure it's set to Enabled. Also tweak your BIOS to boot to your DVD drive if your server doesn't have a boot to DVD by pressing a key option. Install your ESXi media in your DVD drive and boot the server. The server should boot directly to the DVD. Review the BIOS configuration and check the DVD disk if it doesn't boot. The server should boot directly to the installer screen. Press Enter to continue with the install. Press F11 to accept their use terms. Here's where you want to choose the partition in which to install your ESXi operating system. You can store your virtual machines on the same drive as your ESXi OS, or you can create separate drives for the VMs. Either way is fine. Select your OS partition and hit Enter to continue. Select your keyboard language and press Enter to continue. Enter your root password here. Be sure to make note of this password. You will need this password to access your server going forward. Hit enter. Press F11 to install. The install will take a few minutes to complete. Remove the ESXi install DVD from the server and press enter to reboot. Once the server is booted, press F2 to customize the ESXi installation. Enter the root password and hit enter. Scroll down to Configure Management Network. Click Network Adapters. Be sure that all your network adapters are checked and clicked OK. If no network adapters are displayed, then your hardware isn't being detected by the operating system and you may need to purchase an additional network card. Click on IP Configuration. Configure a static IP address here. This step isn't mandatory, but the last thing you want is an IP change on your ESX host. Enter OK when your static IP is all entered. Click DNS Configuration. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and hostname. Enter your primary and alternate DNS server IP addresses and click Enter. Click Escape and you will return to the boot screen. Click Yes to save the changes. To administer your server, you will need the VMware vSphere client installed on a Windows computer and connected to the same network as your server. On your computer, you can open your web browser to http colon forward slash forward slash the IP of the host to download a copy of the client. Ignore the SSL error. When the page loads, click Download vSphere Client. Once the software is finished downloading, install the client with all the default options. Open the vSphere Client software. Enter the static IP address of your ESXi host. 
enter root for the username. Enter the root password you configured earlier and click login. Ignore the SSL error. Click OK to the evaluation notice. Select the host and click the configuration tab. Click license features and click edit. Click assign new license key to this host. Enter the key that you received from VMware's website and click OK. The 60 days remaining message at the top of the page should have gone away. Click on the Summary tab and verify that your total CPU, memory, and storage match your server specifications. If you have additional drives installed that aren't showing up as data stores, you can click Configuration, Storage, and Add Storage. You can follow the wizard to format and install any additional drives you have. Once the drives are installed, they will display under the Summary tab with your other data stores. And that's basically it. You now have a fully functioning ESXi 5.5 server ready to fill with awesome virtual machines. Once again, this is Dave with Logical IT Solutions. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Please check out some of our other awesome videos and check out our website at www.logicalits.net.